What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and as you can tell it's kind of a rainy day today but we can't let a little bit of rain stop us because we got to get some shiny Pokemon. There's two I want to get right now. There is the shiny Krogunk. I need one more to get the complete set and I also want to get the shiny Lucario Hat Pikachu because it's the you know event exclusive shiny so we got to go for it. Hopefully we can find one of those and I wouldn't mind getting a male shiny Hippopotas as well. I have a complete female set which I will be evolving later in the video but yeah obviously I want to get the male too because it is different. So hopefully we'll get that, but for this rain, I'm protected. I've got myself a nice jacket here. I have a foam protective thing right here. And if it gets really bad, which it might, I have a backpack right here for the camera. So let's get out there and let's hopefully get something before the real rain hits. Well, sadly, we're not finding anything yet, though the spawns are pretty fantastic. But what we're going to do now is let's just battle this Krogunk raid. As many chances, you know what I mean? Like, it's still the base rate. It's still the 1 in 450 chance, but... I could get lucky from this. I'm gonna take as many chances as possible to get it. Because once I get one more, I don't have to worry about them anymore. And the Crow Gunk is down hardly anything compared to my shiny Mewtwo. Took him down like nothing. This is a windy, or no, not windy, it's a rainy weather boost right now. So he won't have any boost to the CP, but I don't care. I just want him to have green skin and a pink finger. Dang it. Oh, I really, really want to get just one more. Come on, Pokemon Go. Just one more. Time to hatch some eggs. I accidentally hatched the first one. It's a Chingling. We also have a Pikachu off my incense though that I want to check. There's actually quite a few Pikachus here that I want to check. I've only checked like two of them. I really want to get this guy right here. Also not shiny. Anyways, let's get back to our actual eggs and let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Hopefully we'll get lucky, but honestly these eggs have not been that great to me. Another Chingling, yeah. What I would love is a Gibble, please. And it's not bad. Happening can be shiny, that's cool. Okay, number quattro. I need you to be better, please. Cranidos, again, could be good if I have a good one, but that's not a good one. Ooh, Krogonk, please. Ah. All right, number Cinco. Please be better. Yeah, I mean, it's the new shiny, so that's kind of cool. Numero six, please. Munchlax. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's Gen 4. And this is the last one, lucky number seven. Please be a Gibble. I have yet to see a Gibble out of these eggs. Yeah, thought so. Oh well. Well, I'm happy to say for right now, the rain has stopped, though I see a darker cloud in the distance there, so I'll take this a time, get the coat off. But anyways, I do have a spend a check here. Very surprised I found this. Maybe we'll get lucky? Maybe? I'd be down with a green spenda. Please. This is a new form too. Oh no. Still cool to find it though, but hopefully we can find a green one soon. I think I've only found like three of the forms and there's like 20 of them, so. Not doing well on that front. I'm sad to say, still no shinies, but we do have nine seven kilometer eggs here, so let's see if these ones are better, but honestly, I'm not a fan. I haven't even seen a single gibble out of these things, but I've seen a lot of these and a lot of shield ons. Hopefully, yeah, nope, this is not a good one. I believe it's like a 1040 something, or sorry, no, 1040 something is what you want to see for 100%, because these things are good, but this one isn't. Egg number dose, please. Uh, shield on, like I thought. All right, number three. Please be something cool. Another shield on. Quattro. Another Kranidos, yep. Number five. Another Kranidos. Lucky number seven. Please. Okay, well, finally, something that isn't a freaking dinosaur. Number Ocho, what you got for me? There it is again. And it's like it's Adventure Week or something. And here's our final egg. Please, something good. No, okay, well, wrapping up bad. Many hours later. As you can tell, it's very late, but look what I just incensed. Our first shiny of the day. It's been multiple hours, but I'm so happy that we got one. And the rain's pretty much gone, so I'm happy about that. We don't have to worry about it. It's very windy though, but honestly, today's been a nice cool day. Like, Florida's been really hot lately, so I'm happy to have a nice cool windy day all the time, really, because that sun is murder sometimes. But anyways, we got it super happy the lens is getting fuzzy don't know why that's happening but whatever let's just see if this thing's good are you a good one nope but whatever first shiny of the day finally well guys i'm happy to say we finally got another shiny and this time a good one look at that shiny glam yow this is number four so we definitely didn't really need this one but whatever we'll golden raspberry it <sighs> i really hope i get the grow gunk today though honestly that's the big one i want i really want the crow gunk because they're spawning so much right now but even if not, we do have one already, so it's not that big of a deal. But, boom, there we go. This is great. I'm really happy we found this thing. Now, hopefully, it's a good one, but if I'm allowed to, come on, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do it, and it's okay. 
Looks like when the sun goes down, that's when the shinies come out. Look what we got. We got a shiny freaking Drifloon. Very cool. It's not something I needed by any means, but I love running into them. There's fantastic shinies, so hopefully I can hit this thing. Oh, cool. It came back down and boom, hit it. No problem at all. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, I still need the Pikachu. Are you not going to shake? Okay, well, we got it cool that happens occasionally though it's really strange but let's just take a look at this thing are you good no it's not you guys are not gonna believe it check it out we got another one okay <laughs> whatever i mean i don't need them but it's still cool let's get a golden raspberry on there and i hope it comes back down eh, screw it let's go for it boom all right great throw i'm surprised i was able to pull that off that's actually pretty far up there but anyways and we got it perfect Oh, hopefully this one's better. I hear these things are decent for PvP when they evolve, so it'd be good to have a shiny one to flex. It's... It's okay, but not great. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Super happy, or technically I should say we got her, but we got the freaking Lucario Pikachu. This is something I really wanted, so let's just quickly catch this thing real quick. Yeah, boom, awesome. Man, this is awesome. I cannot believe it. I mean, we got the Umbreon one. We missed the Rayquaza one, sadly. That's the one I wanted most, and we didn't get the Charizard, but boom, there it is. Whew. I'm happy, though. Maybe I'll trade for the other ones, though. I'm not too sure, but anyways, let's just take a look at these IVs. It's not bad. I mean, it was weather boosted, so that's cool. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours since the Pikachu, and sadly, we have not gotten anything, and I am very very tired so i'm pretty much home right now so unless something amazing happens we're going to cut to tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be the bronze or spotlight hour which is going to be cool they have high shiny rates and then also reshiram is coming to our raids as well and i would love to get a reshiram it's one of the most relevant if not the most meta relevant fire type in the game now so i'm excited to go for those hopefully we'll get a hundo and also i need to get the crow gunk as well we still need to get that but then after that we are done with this event totally so yeah i'll see you tomorrow well, hello everybody. It's the next day, and I'm so friggin' happy. Look, shiny crow gunk. Okay, we are done with this event, officially. We got everything we needed. Of course, I still need to catch this, but heck yeah. I'm so happy. Honestly, the Sinnoh event has been one of my favorite events, just because it's completed a lot of shiny families for me. I'll now have a shiny Toxicroak. I'm gonna have a shiny Hippowdon. This has been amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head downtown because Reshiram is about to spawn, or not about to spawn soon. I mean, we still got a couple hours before that happens, but you know, I gotta go down there because that's where all the people are for raiding. But yeah, this is great. Plus Bronzors are gonna be everywhere. This is gonna be a good day. Let's just see though. This is the opposite of what we wanna see for a PVP one, but whatever. We will definitely favorite it. And maybe we'll get lucky and find another one, but by the end of this video, we're getting a Toxic Croak and we're getting a Powdon. So let's go. All right, guys. It's time to battle some Reshirams. I'm in the car with Ivan. How are you doing, Ivan? Doing good, doing good. That's wonderful. I've just got to take this down real quick. <laughs> so I got my face mask, obviously. We're going to raid a couple times because this is the best fire type in the game, right? Yep, yep. Literally the best one. So hopefully we'll get a good one. I believe the max CP we are looking for is a 2307 and weather boosted it is 2887, correct? Sure. Sure, yes. Because sure. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the professional <laughs> here. I should know these things. But yes. Yep. Very excited, so let's battle them. So to battle this thing, you want to use dragon types mostly, like use dragonites, use Rayquaza for sure. Pretty much all your dragon types are the best thing to use, but he will have dragon moves in the future. Like uh, he does have Draco Meteor and he has dragon breath. So those things can hurt. So his fairy types are good too. I got a 2244, which is bad. We want a 2307, so our first one ever is awful, but I'm excited. This is our first one, so let's try to catch it. So first impressions are this thing is very far away. I do not like that. I wish it was a little closer. And our first throw is a bad one. All right, we gotta chill. I mean, we're gonna do a ton of these today, but I do want to catch these things because I want the candy. Good Lord. All right, let All right, me catch you. Gotta, you gotta go the next one. Boom, it. excellent yeah. curveball throw. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's see here. One, two, nope. Number two, not, oh my god, he keeps getting me. And yeah, excellent curve ball throw. At least I'm landing the excellent curves. I'm happy about that. One, two, three. There we go, we got it. This is a bad one again, but this is going to be our Pokedex entry. Super excited about it. Again, an amazing Pokemon. There it is in the decks. 
This is so cool. And let's take a look at these bad IVs before the train comes. It's terrible. Oh my god. Alrighty, number two is down. Also, something I forgot to mention, and Ivan, thank you so much for reminding me. Gotcha. Apparently, we want to use a lot of rock types as well, because rock types are good for the fire move specifically, or is it Stone Edge that he has? It's just so you can tank some of the, the worse moves. Okay, 22 yeah. 2297. Ooh, that's good. Mine is a 2260 something, I believe. Are you? Yeah, 2263. Anyways, let, we're gonna do a couple more of these, but I'm gonna cut to you yeah, guys if I get a good one. Also, I completely forgot to mention that it is the Bronzor Spotlight Hour today. I'm not overly thrilled about it because I have a ton of them, but it would be cool if we get one, so yeah. We're gonna do some Reshirams, and we're gonna check as many Bronzors as we can, and maybe we'll get lucky with either a Hondo Reshiram, which would be insane, or a Shiny Bronzor, which also would be cool. I mean, you know, a Shiny is a Shiny, right? Alright guys, this is possibly our last one. You know what, I'm far enough away from them. This is probably the last one we're doing. It's a 2281, which is good. The best one I ever got was a 89, which sadly got away from me, but we've done quite a few raids today. I'll put the exact number up here, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I do want to get myself a 2307. These things are the best fire types in the game, but we're doing well. I've gotten some decent ones and a lot of candy. I've also dumped a lot of rare candy into these. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna throw one ball at this, and then once I'm done, because I gotta put you guys down to do this, hopefully we get a good throw on it. Yeah. Oh, excellent curveball thrown. No problem at all. Let's see if we get it. One, two, not first ball. Oh well. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep catching this thing, or at least try to catch this thing, and then I'm gonna see you back home because we got some evolutions to do, and then we're gonna wrap it up. So, see you at home. Hey guys, I'm actually still in the truck because uh, check out what I got on the way home. Another one, which is awesome because now, even if I didn't have the set before, I definitely have the set now, but I definitely have the set. Hopefully this one has good PvP IVs though, or at least close to it because even though it's weather boosted though, so that might mean that it won't get them. Whatever, I don't care. I haven't got one of these too, right Ivan? Mm-hmm. Nice. You got one? Oh, hell yeah. So maybe, maybe I can throw you an extra one, unless you get one because you have plenty of time in the event. But let's see here. Are you good for, no, you're not good for anything, but whatever, we're gonna hold on to you. It's such a beautiful shiny though, I'm so glad we're getting these. Hey everybody, so I'm back home now, I forgot to do the clever hand thing where I put it over the camera, but whatever. We've had a good two days. In total, we got nine shinies. We got a Piplup, a Glammeow, a Drifloon, two Drifloons, a Pikachu, two Krogunks, and two Bronzors. Very surprised I got lucky with the Bronzors, though their shiny rates are a bit high, so... It's not all that unheard of that people probably got a few of these ones, but yeah, the double drift loon is very interesting to me. I can't believe I got one, and then I got the second one really soon after, so that was cool. Plus the Pikachu. I mean, I love it. Plus it's a female, so it has a little heart-shaped tail. That's always good. But you know what? Let's do some evolutions. I'm going to do the Hippo last, but let's do the Krogunk now, because we caught two of them today. Let's do one of them. We got this one right here that has these IVs, which aren't really good at all, or we could do this one right here, which also has very bad IVs. I think we're gonna go with this one. Let's evolve this one right here to a shiny Toxicroak. And this completes the family, and it looks so good. This event has been one of my favorite events. We have done so well. I am so happy right now. And there it is, look at that. That is a solid shiny, love the purple, love the teal. This is such a beautiful shiny. Hopefully someday I can get one for PvP so I can just flex it. Cause like, I mean, I could use this in PvP, but it doesn't have the optimum IVs. But let's just see what it would get to. Ooh, 1492. 
That's not bad, all things considered, but again, the IVs are terrible, but just look how beautiful that thing is. And now let's evolve one of our shiny hippos. They're both females, so they're both gonna evolve into the same form. This one could be good for PvP, maybe? I don't know, kinda doubt it. And then this one is the opposite. You know what? Let's evolve this one right here. Let's evolve this one into Hippowdon. I'm excited because I love the shiny female Hippowdon. It looks so much better than the male, in my opinion. I like the female better just because, like, it's jet black as its normal form, and when it turns shiny, it gets green. It kind of has a bit of a puke green, almost kind of like an army green. It kind of looks like an army hippo. I really like it a lot. That is a solid shiny. But let me show you what the male looks like real quick. So as you can see here, this is the male hippo and this is the female hippo. So when the female turns shiny, she looks like this. But when the male turns shiny, he looks like this. It's basically the exact same shiny, but reversed. Hopefully we can find one, because, I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd like to get the complete set. And when it evolves, obviously, that's the male, that's the female. Shiny female turns green. The shiny male gets a little bit lighter, kind of like a yellowish green, I'd say. So, like, there's the normal, there's the shiny. It's all right, but I definitely love the female more. I don't know why. It's just, again, kind of like army colors. It looks like it's going to war. And with those awesome shiny evolutions out of the way, it's time for the positive comment shout out. And today it goes to William L. Nearly keeled over when I caught a Shundo Terrakian. So amazing. Rated with just a total of four accounts with a buddy. William, buddy. That's incredible. I have yet to get a Shundo of anything, and I would love a Shundo Legendary no less. So, congratulations to you. It's cool that you did it with only four accounts, which means, obviously, it took a little while to take that thing down. So, congratulations. Oh, man, I'm jealous. That's awesome. And with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. And if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me. Show me some love. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. And also comment down below. Have you done Reshiram yet? Have you gotten any shiny bronze ore during the spotlight hours? Have you gotten any cool shiny? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you really love my content and you want to help the channel grow some more, links to my Patreon are in the description box below. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.